as they get set to do battle with the Washington football team. And off we go from Denver. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Just get the playoff. Now Fitzpatrick. Got a man open. It's Ricky Seals-Jones. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and try to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. On second down now, it's Patterson, and he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. On play action, Fitzpatrick. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. So opening drive, third down. They complete the slant to move the sticks. And ordinarily, it's a high percentage pass when you throw it. And receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield, break towards the middle, the ball should be there, and then they can get to do some work afterwards. Here's a quick throw out wide. It's McLaurin. A gain of six there on first. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. A run here for J.D. McKissick. Shoves him aside near the 35. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. Now we've got whistles here before the snap, and I believe this is going to be on Washington. Full start, backs him up five, first and 15. Off the play fake here, Fitzpatrick. Eluding the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. 
different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted in an incompletion. On second and 15 now, Fitzpatrick looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Carter. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Fitzpatrick now. This one left side, caught by Patterson. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. And Hopkins' kick is good. And it's 3-0 Washington. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Deontay Spencer on the return from his end zone. They will start at the 25 as Spencer elects not to return this. They'll run. This is Melvin Gordon. Nifty move by Gordon. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Throwing. Bridgewater. Throw over the middle, secured by Gordon. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They'll give it to Gordon out of the shotgun. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Two yards, good enough for a first. Bridgewater. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Bridgewater sliding out of the pocket. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jamin Davis. And a return across midfield and to the 46-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. Following the interception here, Fitzpatrick rolling to his right. And he whips that one incomplete there. Curtis Samuel, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. First target, first catch, and a first down. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. A first down throw for Fitzpatrick. Looking for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Curtis Samuel, 27 yards. And Washington is able to stretch their lead. 
We see this route all the time, but when it's well executed, it's a beauty. And it feels like the fade takes forever to develop, like that ball is just hanging in the air. And the reason why is that the receiver is trying his best to work the defender inside and give himself space to fade away from him and catch the football, and that's exactly what happened there. Deontay Spencer on the return from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game. Oh, it was hit at the line of scrimmage and intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. On first and 10, Fitzpatrick. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there. 31 yards. And Washington going to add on to their lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Now Gordon on first down. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Jamin Davis there to bring him down. From the 36, Bridgewater. This will complete to Jerry Judy. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Bridgewater finding Judy there for the Bronco first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Running right, it's a handoff to Gordon. And it's a first down and more for Gordon. There goes Melvin Gordon. And all the way down to the five. 78 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in his first half. So down inside the five-yard line, I have to say, really just a poor job defensively there. You're exactly right. As a former defensive back, that was not played well at all. But give credit to the offense and give credit to the guy running the football. He gets it down all the way inside the five. Bridgewater now. He fights him off. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Jonathan Allen able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll try to run it in. It's Williams. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Right 
The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. McManus is good. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to 3. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points. Not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every t-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And they have to be pleased with the way that they moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Mike Purcell breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. So fourth and 15, but the offense is staying out there to go for it. They're indeed going. It's Fitzpatrick. The left side is complete on the diving effort. Facing a fourth down, they come away with 18 yards and the first down conversion. Fitzpatrick. Throw to the right here, taken in by McLaurin. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Fitzpatrick to throw it. Dancing to his left. And that'll be incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and 10. They'll throw again, Fitzpatrick. This to McLaurin out on the left side. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. Now Fitzpatrick. Flush to his right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. They go play action. Fitzpatrick. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. 
This will be play number nine in the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Here's Fitzpatrick. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. Fourth down, Fitzpatrick slings this deep from McLaurin. And this is caught inside the five. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. Deontay Spencer on the return from his end zone. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, They've still got a shot. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they've brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. We got three. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. And they'll try for it here on fourth. Bridgewater and company stay out there. They're indeed going for it. Bridgewater. Got a man. It's Judy complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. They'll run on first down. It's Gordon. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 90 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. On first and ten, Bridgewater. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. On oh, Bridgewater, intercepted for the third time. Picked off at the 22. And he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Fitzpatrick now to throw on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 13 yards there and a Washington first. Switch, switch, switch. 
A carry now for McKissick. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. And he just throws this one away. That was a bit strange, and here comes the flag. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. the yardage and of course they also lose the down on the grounding call and it's quickly second and long they'll try the left side Patterson looking for a seam but finding none he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it no gain on the play this time and it'll be a third and long situation coming up Play fake, it's Fitzpatrick. He'll buy some time right. His throw complete right side to Bates, the tight end. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Hopkins' kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there, and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And here we are, almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Cortland Sutton was the man he was looking for. And it's third and short. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And Washington will take control of the football in great field position. Fitzpatrick on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. Now left side on the swing pass. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Five yards, now it's third and five. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. On third down, it's Patterson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. It's a pickup of three, but it brings up what will be an interesting fourth and one. Thank you. 
47 is the mic. 47 is the mic. Here we are. <laughs> to throw Fitzpatrick. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And this is taken in for Washington touchdown. Ricky Seals Jones, 26 yards. And Washington able to stretch that lead out even further. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to so give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the lead is now 24. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Well behind the sticks here with a second and 18. To throw is Bridgewater. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. So following the run by Gordon, here's first and 10. On play action, it's Bridgewater. Now he's hit, and Bridgewater loses the football. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it, able to retain possession. That was big for them. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. Now they run from the gun with Gordon. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 116 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. The Broncos on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 14. Bridgewater to throw it. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Desperation time, fourth down, Bridgewater. 
And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Jamin Davis. CD, this defense, man. <laughs> At this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. A little jet sweep to start the drive. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Play action now, Fitzpatrick. And that's caught left side, Seals Jones with it. And he's got this down to the 35. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Well, partner, nothing but praise for me for this offense. They have been tremendous all night long. They knew what they had to do to unlock the defense. And let's face it, this has been a master class in offensive football that we've been here to witness. I'm coming, I'm coming. 47 mark, First down, Fitzpatrick. Taking a shot for Samuel. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving him up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. Deontay Spencer on the return from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. A first down throw for Bridgewater. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. From the gun, Bridgewater. And down he goes. The pressure getting to Bridgewater. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's got Gordon. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Flushed out right. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. And this one is incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. 52 is the mic right here, over there, right? 52 is the mic. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Bridgewater on third and two. Open man is Gordon, complete. And he will have a Broncos first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. 
Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. And this is caught. Well, they get one back, picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, I agree with you totally on that one. Now Bridgewater will lead the troops up to go for two. Bridgewater will try and throw. That's caught. And he is not going to make it to the end zone. And that's pretty reflective of their game as a whole as they'll remain down by a bundle. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. Fitzpatrick here to throw. And the Broncos get there and take him down. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Complete out to Samuel on the quick throw. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Denver, good night, everybody.